Hi there, Post here from Thomas. And Thomas is long distance runner who started banting as a way to hopefully get rid of the bonk on long runs. Well, if your goal is to get rid of the bonk, then it doesn't help to start your run already bonking. But let's see what else he has to say. After two weeks, he's noticed that his running performance is at its worst. No shit, Sherlock. And he simply can't do anything further than 10 miles, whereas previously he was doing 16 plus miles before bonking, before hitting the wall, before going hyperglycemic. He's done further research and it seems that all of the examples of manting ultra runners are, are not actually legitimate. They do in fact eat a lot of carbs. Absolutely, because carbs give you the win. And the results have simply been uh, simply been reported in let's see what else he has to say in a manual to try and sell banting. Obviously, Tim Noakes will put anything into his banting manuals to try and get more people to buy them and make more coin for himself. After all, Tim Noakes himself, when he starts off any one of his lectures, starts off with the following statement. Listen to it. Now we don't have the scientific proof this is true, but and again. Now we don't have the scientific proof this is true, but and a third time just in case he didn't hear it. Now we don't have the scientific proof this is true, but got it. So now he's wanting the, the Thomas guys wanting to know how to make banting work for him. Coach Ever, but next. Well, Thomas, very importantly. If you are wanting to run on a banting style fuel, in other words, using only fat, both your own fat and ingested fat as your fuel source, you have to slow yourself right down. Simply put, your body needs energy to be able to convert that fat into muscle glycogen. And the, after all, your body runs on muscle glycogen. So the more fat in your system, the more energy your body needs to convert that fat into glycogen. Then, over and above that, if you've got too much fat in your system, the glycogen struggles to get into your muscle cells because the pathways that the insulin is supposed to use to unlock the doors to get the glycogen into your muscles is blocked up. So which means that your pancreas needs to work twice as hard. Your ins you get got insulin spikes from all the fat and animal protein in your system. And the little bit of muscle glycogen that you do have struggles to get into the muscles. So, how are you going to be able to run at your super fast lactate threshold race pace while being while on a banting system? You simply aren't able to do that. When it comes to top level sports performance where you need to function and thrive at lactate threshold, here's a little video showing Alberto Contador in his 2007 Paris Nice to show you exactly what happens when you're needing to fuel yourself solely on your fat reserves to be able to get yourself to the finish line against athletes that are operating at lactate threshold running on carbs. Check this video out. So that's the story. If you're fueling yourself solely on fat, you're going to be going backwards. Even if your name is Alberto Contador on the best regime of EPO, growth hormone, steroids and clenbuterol that money can buy, 
you're still going to be going backwards if you're relying solely on fat as a source of fuel. That's my take on the matter. Share any comments, questions, criticisms you have in the comment section down below. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like the content, share it out amongst your friends, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there as well. Stay subscribed for all the new content that comes out daily. And remember, stay carved up for the win. See you next time. Cheers.